Hello and welcome to another update video about HBAR. Yeah, on the HBAR chart, <clears throat> I'm still tracking here potential Elliott Wave Triangle. This is at the moment the preferred scenario just because of the ongoing sideways action. You can see it actually on the daily chart. Um, it's similar to ADAR's chart um, it, with regards to the potential triangle. Don't really have enough waves in place for a triangle, but if so only we only have three waves so far, a triangle needs five. I already sketched it out in the last video here, this yellow wave count. Um, whereas my view is I'm gonna track primarily the triangle as primary count as long as price stays below that A wave low. Here we talk about 9.9 .9 cents. A break above the 9.9 .9 cent level would invalidate the triangle formally. There is Fibonacci resistance at 8.1 cent that could add as additional resistance. And I'm waiting, watching basically, if we can get this D wave, which would confirm that thesis here further, a triangle count would eventually lead to another low. Um, again, it's not highly reliable, it's, but it's sort of sideways range price action. If we can break below this ascending trend line, then I think we're dealing with the D wave of the triangle, which would be a, th a three wave move. And with the latest price action that price is here fulfilling, I would find it actually at least not unlikely that we're doing something like that. Obviously we have a three wave move up here, potentially in a C wave of a triangle. And we might be dealing here with an A wave down, a B wave up and a C wave down to form the D wave of the triangle. Again, all these sub waves within the triangles are three wave moves. So we have corrective movements, especially here the C wave was a very complex correction. By the way, the C wave in a triangle is very often a complex correction. So in this case, it was WXY structure. That happens very often, actually. Um, and the move down, yeah, looks a bit like an ABC structure. Now the B wave could also unfold as a triangle. It has a little bit like the look like a, like a triangle, but we'll see. Um, eventually, eventually um, I would focus on lower now, but obviously it's holding the ascending trend line. So my take is against the B wave high, which is at 6.8 cents, I would focus on lower but it needs to break below the trend line to confirm. Then we should head down in the C wave, target for the C wave at the moment from what we can see, and it's not super reliable because we're dealing with corrective waves here. But the first target I'd watch is 4.7 cents. Very important, I think that's the 100% extension level. 4.7 cents, if we get there, we'll see if we can find a reaction, form a reaction some way, um, and rally in another corrective wave up in an E wave, which would also be an ABC structure. Then we would complete the triangle and break down, make another low. This is sort of the, let's say, bearish wave count. First of all, corrective and then bearish. If, however, we break above 9.9 .9 cents, then we have to readjust. I wouldn't be terribly surprised if that happens, um, but at the moment, it's just not giving me anything clearly bullish, okay, due to the structure that we had here of the uh, June lows. So it's very corrective, very much overlapping price action. So at the moment I'm tracking primarily the, the triangle, obviously reserving the right absolutely to change that wave count if the market tells us we have to, because tri triangle wave counts are not very reliable. They just they just range movements and the breakout will happen at some point. Um, and again, you know, if, in my view, if we break above 8.1 cents, which is Fibonacci resistance, it will make it more likely that the 9.9 .9 cent level eventually breaks as well. It's like a first warning or a first signal, um, but a break then above that 9.9 .9 cent level would unlock potentially a third wave rally. That's my update about HBAR. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button and leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.